Hello, my lovely loves. So, I did a thing earlier. Um, I told you all about how we were going to do Facebook Live, and we were going to have tea together, and um, I promoted it on Instagram, and I did that, and it was awesome. Um, and so then I put the video up, and somehow we got into some auction site or some crazy thing, and so I started getting these really weird messages, and um, instead of uh, subjecting you to all of that, I decided to just go ahead and record this New Year message for you, and um, we will uh, go ahead and uh, try again next week. But I did not want to miss this opportunity. Um, yesterday I had a cold. Oh my gosh, did I ever have a cold? Um, and so the first Friday that we were going to um, do these interactive videos went by, and so I'm here today at the office on a Saturday. Um, sending you this New Year message. So I wanted to have tea with you one way or the other, hell or high water apparently, um, technology or no, <laughs> this was going to happen. So um, earlier I had tea and I don't know if you all ever have um, yogi tea. I love yogi tea because on the back are these um, beautiful little messages. And this one says, in the beginning is you in the middle is you, and in the end is you. And I love this so much. One, I like Yogi Tea, obviously, um, because it's like uh, opening a book to a random page and there's a passage that you just needed to hear that day. So um, when I saw this the other day, it reminded me of something that I talked to my kids about. And you don't have to be a parent to impart wisdom to people on a daily basis. You have a lot of people in your life who need you and all that you have to offer. Um, the tidbit of wisdom that I offer my children is um, you are the person you have to live with for the rest of your life. And what does that have to do with New Year? Well, what it has to do with the New Year is that I feel like in these last days or week of the year, we do a lot of, we take a lot of stock, we take a lot of inventory of our year, and we tend to beat ourselves up pretty bad about the things that we didn't do, that we didn't accomplish, um, or the things that we want to do to make ourselves better, which is fine. What I want to say to you is that you are already wonderful. You are already everything that you need to be. Do we all need to have better habits? Yes. <laughs> Do we all need to have something that we remind ourselves? Yes. Do we all need goals to strive for? Absolutely. I just want to say that in that process, I don't want the fact that you are everything that you need to be already to get lost. So um, remember, um, there's also something that we talk about a lot in Tribe of Women that I wonder if people wonder why we even talk about it. And it's about self-love, self-compassion, self-care, self-acceptance, all of those words. And the reason that we talk about it is because it is the core of how we see ourselves is a lot of times how we see the world. How we treat ourselves is a lot of times how we treat other people. And so even though it doesn't seem like that is, has anything to do with building your tribe and having friends and relationships, it's absolutely at the heart of all of it. So I wanted to take a little bit of time today and remind you to take care of you because if you don't take care of you, you don't have anything to give to others. So in these final waning days of, um, of the new year, I wanted to remind you of that. I also wanted to share with you um, a few of our goals at Tribe of Women. First of all, my personal goals. One of my personal goals um, in starting Tribe of Women, um, I am going to be better at trusting myself, trusting my own instincts. And um, it's interesting being an entrepreneur now, when I've been coaching entrepreneurs for a long time, um, trying to listen to myself again. And the wonderful thing about this year has been all of the people who have supported me and supported Tribe of Women and given me the most wonderful and amazing advice. And I love taking it all in. And what I'm going to remind myself that I have 
coached my uh, clients for years and years about is ultimately you need to trust yourself. So that's what I'm going to do for myself. Another fun thing that was talked, um, that was told to me was to pick a word, a word that was going to remind you of kind of a recentering. Like, what did I promise myself? What was it that I was going to do for myself? And um, in her word, and this was my friend Holly, her word was nourish. I love that word because it can mean so, so many things. And so no matter what she's doing, she can come back to the fact that she needs to remember that she wants to nourish herself, nourish her mind, nourish her body, nourish her spirit, nourish her relationships. So that was a beautiful word. Mine is going to be right. And W-R-I-T-E. Um, no, honey, not right as in I am right, even though I might be on occasion or a lot. Um, right, because for me, writing is a centering activity. It's the thing that reminds me to slow down, to process my thoughts. And it's also something that reminds me to bring something to you. Um, it gives me time to slow down and process all of the things that are going on in the world, um, all of the things that I want to say to you. And I've been encouraged a lot to um, use that as a vehicle to reach out to you. So I think the other thing I want to ask you, and even though this would have been in the um, live feed in a conversation form, I'm just going to leave it here. And I want to ask you what you need from me. How can we be better connected this year? I so want to connect. And writing, of course, I can put blogs out, but I want to know how we can have better conversations. So this year, we started the Tribe Talk podcast. So if you're at all curious about um, the Tribe of Women origin story, we launched the origin stories last January. I'm so excited we did that. Um, it's our one-year anniversary of the Tribe Talk podcast that you can find on any platform for um, podcasts. And... So you can listen to the origin story about where Tribe of Women came from, and we'll be exploring that more this year. If you are a podcast listener, how can we do it better? What would you like to hear from us? Um, do you just want us to sit around and chat with each other? Um, do you want um, di different or better interviews? Um, just give us feedback. I am so open to constructive criticism, so please don't hesitate to tell us um, what it is that you want. And then we also started, um, we did 30 day challenges for a while, maybe early last year, you were part of those and you loved them and you're like, where did they go? Um, we'd love to bring those back or put them into a format that's more useful for you. We were sending emails every single day about things that you could do, um, to build your tribe. And the other is the coaching series. So we started the coaching series. We did one in April um, and we did one in July. And then we released all of the material um, for free in the month of September. So um, if you participated in that in any way, would love your feedback. Um, also, if you missed it, but you want to know more about it, or you think, hmm, yeah, a coaching series about how women can better support women or how we can build cultures of, men, of more good men, um, how can I do better about um, loving myself in order to love others? How do I build my tribe, um, create better boundaries? How do I navigate mean girl culture? Um, or how do I tribe it forward? That's kind of what the coaching series is all based on. So if that sounds interesting to you, tell me that that sounds great and that that's something you want to participate in. And then finally, um, our Tribe Talk workshops launched this year. And even though I've done Tribe Talks in the form of a Tribe Tour um, for quite some time now, um, going and listening to um, how women can better support each other and facilitating those conversations, we formalized it more um, within um, small businesses. Um, we've done conferences. We even did the Team Together workshop which was with um, Wendy Poole and Ia Chica, Kim Rada from Ia Chica, where we brought women and girls together to talk about how to strengthen their bonds. So um, if you would be interested in a Tribe Talk, um, or you want to know more about what that is, or you want to tell me how that could be useful to you, we really, really want to hear that. Um, another uh, gift to myself this year 
um, is that um, we are, I'm going to travel more. It was actually a gift given to me um, by a girlfriend of mine, and it is enabling me to come and see you. So maybe you want me to come and visit. Maybe you want to tribe talk where you are. Um, maybe you want to um, explore something with me. So let me know that. I do want to go places and host tribe talks and do more around the country and around the world. So where can I go? Where is it next? Then finally, we are going to be doing um, our live streams when we figure it out and we figure out how not to get spammed by people. Um, we are going to do the um, Facebook Lives and um, probably LinkedIn Live too. I don't know if anybody has um, done that before, but I find them very interesting. And what I'd love to do is um, do those in the form of Ask Amy. It's really just a platform for you and I to talk and for you to ask questions. Um, it's so much more natural for me because as a coach, um, I usually just sat down and talked to people and uh, we had conversations and my skill is helping people find their own answers. So I would love to do that with you in an online platform. We'll start with Facebook Live and um, we'll go from there. So it's going to start next Friday. We're going to start sometime before 10 because I will be traveling. Um, who knows where I'll be, but we are going to commit to it being before 10 o'clock um, a.m., uh, wherever it is that I am. And next week, I want you to stay tuned because I'm going to be coming to you from a very special place. So anyway, that's all for now. Happy, happy new year.